Scientists widget need to monitor the supervolcano for warning signs of an eruption. Supervolcano eruptions are almost impossible to predict and can have devastating consequences for the world. Hence, scientists today are calling for more research and monitoring of these volcanic systems to better understand their warning signs of an impending eruption. Supervolcano eruptions rock the planet on average once every 100,000 years and while rare, their impact is far-reaching. When the Toba supervolcano in Indonesia erupted about 74,000 years ago, there is some evidence to suggest that it spewed enough ash into the sky to trigger an ice age, a cataclysm that barely managed to survive. Therefore, it is somewhat concerning to know that there are no universally agreed upon warning signs that precede a super eruption. Estimates vary, but there are about 12 supervolcanoes around the planet, including the world-famous Yellowstone volcano in the western United States. Writing today, July 27, in Nature Review Earth and Environment, a team of scientists have warned that trying to predict when this volcano will erupt is extremely challenging. The warning follows an in-depth review of 13 supervolcano eruptions over the past 2 million years including the relatively recent Oruanui eruption in New Zealand 25,400 years ago. Scientists found there is no single model for how these eruptions started and developed, and that makes predicting future eruptions difficult. According to the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, a supervolcano is a volcano that has had one or more eruptions of magnitude 8 on the Volcanic Eruption Index VEI. An eruption of magnitude 8 and above released more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough to disrupt the climate for decades to come. During Yellowstone's three major eruptions between 2.1 million and 640,000 years ago, the volcano ejected enough ash to cover much of the western north. America. Good thing Yellowstone isn't erupting anytime soon. But what about the other supervolcanoes? The team of scientists, including experts from Cardiff University, found Toba's youngest eruption 74,000 years ago. For example, was a very sudden eruption marked by the collapse of the roof of the volcanic chamber. The attack, the Oruanui explosion at New Zealand's Taupo volcano occurred much more slowly. The volcano deposited large layers of ash before its caldera collapsed and expanded periodically with intervals over several months. The amount of magma spewed by the volcano also varied from eruption to eruption. Consequently, scientists believe we need to spend more time monitoring the system. This is to better understand how it behaves now and in the future.